And welcome back with our continuing series, The Morning Blend Gives Back with Bank 5-9. Well, all year long, we have been highlighting charities doing good work right here in our community. Our next guests are familiar with working with people in a crisis situation. Brother Robert Wotipka joins us live. He is the Ministry Director of the Capuchin Community Services, which operates the House of Peace and St. Ben's Community Meal. Thank you for joining us this morning, brother. Good morning. It's a pleasure and uh, thank you for the invitation to share our ministry with the community. Absolutely. We're so happy when you guys are on our show and it's um, such a gem that we have here in our community. Um, how are you guys working right now to serve the people who are most vulnerable? Because obviously you do that all the time, but during this pandemic specifically, what are you doing? Well, we uh, have a deep desire to continue to operate. Um, the conditions of our operation have changed a lot over the past few weeks. Um, we are uh, volunteer driven and uh, for about three weeks we've asked the volunteers to be safer at home so we continue to operate with staff only. The food pantry at the House of Peace and the uh, community meal which is now being delivered from the St. Ben's site. Who do you see as being the most vulnerable during this time in our community? Well, I believe that uh, in particular we deal with people who are vulnerable all year round and for decades at the CCS. Um, so have not having enough uh, food, that's an ongoing emergency for a lot of people who come to the House of Peace and St. Ben's. Uh, not having secure housing, that's a lot of uh, people who are already turning to us for emergency assistance uh, through our social worker ministry. Um, what I'm, I mean, God alone knows the future, but my concern is that uh, people who right now have stable housing, right now have enough income uh, for a meal, will become, uh, in, in, as you put it, vulnerable. And um, we're, we are now discerning how do we expand our services in the weeks and months to come? How do we welcome back our volunteers? How do we identify those resources so that if you've never been to a food pantry before, you know that the House of Peace will be there for you. If you've never needed help uh, with dinner, you'll, you'll know that St. Ben's will be there for you. I think that's such a great point because so many people don't know how this economic fallout will affect them and how their housing may or may not be stable for them. So I think the fact that you acknowledge that, that these may be new people that have never needed a service, a food pantry, a meal, um, housing may be affected. And I think that breaks all of our, our hearts. Are, are you seeing right now already an influx of new people who need assistance or are you just sort of preparing for that to come? Well, by de definition at the House of Peace, we are seeing new people. Our, our agreement with the local food bank has limited us to a couple of zip codes. But since the onset of the public health emergency, we are serving all zip codes at the House of Peace in the afternoons only from 1 to 3.30. So yes, by definition, if your neighborhood food pantry hasn't been able to continue because it was staffed entirely by volunteers and we're asking volunteers to be safer at home, yes, do come to the House of Peace where we have staff ready to and able to help you. I always wonder in times like this, because people want to help, but they don't always know exactly what to do or exactly what's needed. So what are you suggesting that the public can do to help what you're, the work that you're doing there? Well, thank you for asking that question. Uh, at St. Ben's, we always had a volunteer-driven meal. Uh, local faith communities, corporations, neighborhood associations would prepare food in their parish hall, in their church, in their homes, and bring it to St. Ben's. We have not been able to do that for the last several weeks. In order to make people safer at home, we have been buying and preparing all the food that goes out from the St. Ben's meal. And as I mentioned before, we've asked volunteers to be safer at home, so everything that we're doing is being operated by staff. So costs have gone up, so we would very much welcome financial support to pay for the increased cost of preparing the meal that's going out from Ben's and to keep the doors open at the two sites. That's incredible. I know at the House of Peace, you've been serving over 160 families and individuals each day, providing that emergency food packages. We have a very special video. I know you can't see it, but I'd like you to hear this message for you guys uh, from Becky Miller at Bank 5-9. Take a listen. 
Hi everyone, Becky Miller here from Bank59. I'm sorry we can't all be together in person, but I'm very excited to feature St. Ben's Community Meal as this month's Morning Blend Gives Back with Bank59 recipient. We all know this is a very trying time for many people in our community, but St. Ben's Community Meal is trying to make it a little easier, making lives better for those in need. On behalf of all the employees at Bank59, we want to say a big thank you to St. Ben's community meal and virtually present you brother Robert with $1,000 to continue your mission hopefully this will help over the next few months as we all try to weather this storm together thanks again and hopefully we'll see you soon oh thank you miss Miller thank you very much congratulations Yay, to you that's guys that's awesome that's awesome and it's very necessary thank you Absolutely. Yeah. I love the fact that we can all pitch in and help. We can all donate. We can all be a part of the mission that you're doing. Truly, yes. And um, when the, it's uh, safe to do so, we very much want to open our doors. Uh, we are places of gathering. We are places of community. Uh, we are places of encounter. And we, we really want that aspect of our ministry to return quickly and safely. Oh, Brother Robert, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And congratulations for being our winner in The Morning Blind Gives Back. Thank you for the way you serve the community. Thank you. Thank you, brother. All right, if you know about a charity that's doing good in our community, nominate them. Go to our, our website, themorningblend.com slash gives back. And to learn more about the Capuchins, that website that was just on the screen, capuchincommunityservices.org as well.